when my oldest daughter was younger, she loved McDonald's hash browns. You know the kind I'm talking about. Greasy, crispy, cooked to order, right? There's the McDonald's specialty there, but they make them all day. So even when we'd roll through McDonald's drive through line and we'd get a Happy Meal with chicken nuggets or whatever, we'd order extra hash browns. We'd usually have to pull up and wait. It's a little annoying at times, but I loved them too. So I'd always get one or two for myself and I love them. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna make my daughter some hash browns. And one day when I was making lunch for her, I just chopped up some potatoes, some red skin potatoes through a shredder, like where you shred them, oiled up this griddle, electric griddle we have and shredded those potatoes right on there. Fresh red potatoes, you know, laid out a bunch of the, these shreds of this, cooked it on real high heat and covered it so those potatoes would cook thoroughly. And then, you know, chopped them up into squares, flipped them over and cooked them on the other side real crispy. So they're crispy on both sides. These are fresh, fresh hash browns made with red skin potatoes. I salted them up with sea salt, peppered them up at the end. And then I serve them, I bring them out to my daughter. She's younger. Bring them out, I'm like, hey, check it out. Charlotte, here you go, got some hash browns. And she's like, ew, daddy, what are these? You know? And I'm like, they're hash browns. Like you love McDonald's hash browns. You'll love these even more. These are even better because they're natural potatoes. They're the real thing. Like. This is the real deal. And my daughter goes, ew, I'm not eating these. I want the McDonald's ones. <laughs> Listen, we as Jesus followers in Western culture, I think we often want McDonald's hash browns, church. We don't want like the real deal discipleship. And it's because it's easier. And I mean, it might not be as good for us, but it tastes a little better, right? Like we like just listening to a sermon. We like you know, going to a worship gathering that's really appealing and then sort of checking out and rolling out and then doing things sort of our own way, right? But here's what Romans 14, seven through nine says. It says, for none of us lives for himself and no one dies for himself. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Christ died and returned to life for this, that he might be Lord over both the dead and the living. We are meant to live for more than ourselves and more than even a cheap version of Christianity that appeals to us, we were meant to live as disciples of Jesus, giving our lives to him, handing it over to him in every way possible so that he can have his way in every little corner of our lives.